hello everyone welcome back to your channel in today's tutorial I'm going to explain how you can configure the custom scene for email uh, in Kicklog version 24 although I had a tutorial about that uh, previously you can watch my video but it was for uh, old version and as per request I am making new video about the the new version which is Kicklog version 24 so let's go together to see from zero how we can find and configure this uh, custom sim regarding the configuration of the email if you I have a question or if you're interested to know I already made one tutorial about that uh, specifically in gmail and you can watch that video i will drop the link and you can find it easily before that let's jump to uh, the one demo to show you uh, what i made for the email then we can uh, check together about that one okay as you observe this is the the email which i uh customized and you can see i changed that for example the title here also i changed the content uh and also i add the one uh, signature in email whenever i'm sending or triggering the test email in the server it comes to uh in this uh, format for the test so I already download I have downloaded the latest version of the Keyclock theme so let's watch together to find out how we can configure in Keyclock version 24. Okay. Uh this in today's time is this 24 the uh, 0. Uh, point zero Point four. So let's go together to check this theme. Uh, basically, for the email part, you have to go to the base and go to the email, and you will find some folders and also file. Uh, what are these? This part for HTML. If we go here, we will find the different uh, template. And each template has uh, some explanation like uh, update, verification, and, and so on. So if you need for a specific item, uh, you have to update that, that file. For my case, because it was just for purpose of the demo, I would need only email test. So I only uh, customize the email test. So let's just uh, watch together to see that what is the content of the, this email test. Uh, I already dropped it here, and you can you can see in this part for the email test. You uh, in top side you have the template. If you let me just uh, make it literal. Yeah, I think now it makes sense uh you have the template F ftl that ftl which is this file is here and uh other is by default so if you want to have some change in this part you have to go to the dist template ftl and drop your uh style here as a html what I have done exactly the same. If you need the signature, if you need some some, uh, for example, uh, the color and so on, you can drop it here. And uh, this is the the template name. Also, you can change it or customize it. But definitely, you have to change this name as well. And then uh, you will come to. Uh, let's get back uh, to the message part. This message part, uh, 
it's defined for different languages. You can see uh, there are so many languages here and give you possibility to select that specific language. And you can localize based on the that language. But uh, here, for example, I have an English version. You can see that each part of that uh, has the different message. So like uh, uh, the test body, like for example, the test body, HTML and so on. So you can change this message and customize it. And whenever you are sending the, for example, the email test, then definitely the template will be sent to the user or to client uh, for that uh, specific uh, action. Uh, so this, this is the only things which you can do it for the, the message part. And I think, yeah, that's all you can uh, customize it. I already, uh, I have created one uh, custom file. Let's jump to my custom file to see that how uh, configured and uh, how we can make one package. Okay, uh, this package and configuration part already I explained in my previous video. If you don't know about it, these details, please watch that video. Uh, I will not uh, dive deep on these details to explain all, but just I want just focus on uh, the part for uh, the uh, email part. If you remember in the original file, there was one base and I copied all that file here. And you can see there are some uh, account, common, email, login, and welcome. And for email, I copied and dropped here because I want to have the one package. Then what I did because uh, it was for my uh, email test. Let me just close all the things and from, yeah. And I dropped the name as a templates, and this is the file which I made it. And you can see this uh, file uh, I customized and I added some uh, uh, the, the, the signature here. If you want to add the signature, you can use this format for signature. What I have done is uh, I dropped my logo in the one Google Drive and then I drop the that link here as a source but the tag which I made it as IMG. This is this is a tag which I made it for this signature and then the source and I drop the link of the source and also I put it as the the name your logo. So this is the body part of that. And uh, I didn't uh, uh, drop anything related to the content and, and so on. Just very uh, simple for purpose of the this demo. The second uh, modification which I did, uh, it was for the English version of the message uh for the subject test subject i changed to smtp uh, smtp test iot station which is the title of my email and, and this is for uh actually uh the test body and you saw that this message when uh, i am triggering the test uh, email and then it will send me this message as a, a the test body. So you can go through these uh, messages and and then customize based your desired uh, template. Okay, after you uh, customize all these files, uh, you would need to uh, define the 
configuration part of the uh, for making the, the the custom file which i am not explaining in this tutorial just i want to uh very quickly uh, go to the cmd part and create the package we just go to cmd port oops and then you you need to create your package and after your package was created then you uh, you have to drop this package to your server part and uh yeah this this package you need to copy copy this package and drop in your server part and then you need to update your server after that up and running and configure it so let's uh, go to the server part we are in the server part but before that i have to let me stop my server yeah okay then i would need to drop it here And then um, I need to first to update my server. It will take a few seconds and after you update, you have to up and running your server. And after you up and running, then you need to select the that uh, configure file for your email address uh, sorry for email uh, section which we go together to see how you can configure it okay server now is up and running let's jump to the then uh, you need to come to your server part and then uh, you would need come to the theme and select your custom uh, theme, which is uh, for my case is uh, Disney. So after that, you have to save it. And then you need come here to configure your email uh, address and your server, whatever server you have. And then you need to configure all this part adjust test connection and then is already sent successfully and you can see this email here you go this is the the title which i have and this is the the con content of that and this is the signature Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you think this tutorial was useful and you enjoyed please support me with the like button and if you have any question please drop your question in the comment definitely i will get back to you thank you again and see you next one